Hi, it's the beautiful here. Um, okay, so we are doing lots of videos on our own these days, mostly because we have a list this long and we've been waiting to like do projects together and that just wasn't happening <laughs> because our lists are separate and we're just building stuff on our own. So we're like, we just haven't done videos and we thought we need to jump on these videos again. So we're just gonna tackle our lists and individually make some videos and when we have time, we'll make some together. I mean, we hope you love us anyway. <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to make a leather clutch. And actually, I'm not gonna take you through the whole, pro whole process. I'm just gonna take you through the sewing of one. Um, I'll give you a brief synopsis of what I've done so far. By the way, and I like to look an old lady. I can't sew without one. So you're just gonna have to listen to the blanket and the stuff that the cat just knocked over. Okay, so, so far what we've done, I created a couple patterns off of um, out of boxes and I cut the leather to those patterns. So this one was pretty simple. It was just kind of a longer box. And then I have so or um, glued the sides with contact cement as well as the top because I want that folded over look. So when this clutch is done, it'll have a cute little snap in the middle and that's what that'll look like. Just a little tiny guy, super easy. On the inside, we'll have a little name tag and that, that's it for that one. Another one we did is similar to our other larger one, but it has a triangle top or a, a V front. And so again, same concept, contact cement here. I'm not going to contact cement or full over the tops because I think it looks really cute with the sharp edges, uh, but there will be a nice big button in the middle. The other thing I've already done so far is I have, um, oh gosh, you know what? I don't know all the leather terms, but I took the forks and I pounded it and I made little holes. So as you can see with the pricking irons. Step one for sewing these clutches, super simple. So again, we've done all the stuff, it's been drying. At the end, I'll cut off the edges and make it nice and make it nice and flush. Um, but because we have, this is the area that we're going to be sewing just here. Landon says four times. I don't trust myself. So I go at least five times the width and sometimes more because I don't mind having extra to play with. But if you're just a normal person, four times and a bit is apparently good enough. But again, because I've done this and not had enough a few times, I'm going to go six. And so we're gonna do that times two. This is way too much thread. Um, you professionals are gonna be like, what is she doing? Better safe than sorry, I always say. Okay, so I have two, one for each side. I'm gonna put this to the side because I don't need it yet. Don't put it on the candle. Here comes a kitty cat. Say hi. <laughs> She doesn't know we're on the YouTube. Okay, so how to thread a needle. Give her. Okay, so you pull it through about twice the length of the needle. And then you poke it through itself like this, poof, into your finger. And then you do it again back the other way now. Like right away. Yeah, right away. So now you have a little loop, double loop. You pull this one so it's almost gone. And then you take your finger and you go Now you can see how it's through itself. You just give that a little pull. Oops. Give that a little pull and it's, that won't come off there. Cool. Okay, so now it's your turn on the other. Okay, so Landon likes to work with a thicker leather always. So he always takes a, like a, a long pricker and he pokes through just to make sure that the, the hole's gone all the way through. I shouldn't have a problem here because this is pretty thin leather. If I do have that problem, I'll go down and get the tool and then I'll just show you how that works. So you're gonna go through with the side that you call your back, always from the left first, and then you're going to even them out. This is your only chance, as they say, to make sure that it is even. Now, we're going to go up to that second hole on your left. Awesome, through. And now what we're going to do is this right one that we already have through. You're going to go on top of, pulling it nice and out, into there. Oh, I'm gonna show you the finger cut, so we should get that. So on top, making sure not to go through itself. And now, I'll show you, there we go. So now in order to check if it's gone through itself, I am going to pull this one a little bit first. Great. And you don't wanna pull it all the way through because you wanna make sure that's not gonna get caught. Uh, also the loop-de-loop, -loop. gosh, I'm not a good explainer. They're gonna go through the hole that you just did. So pulling, we're gonna pull that through. Great, great, everything looks great, perfect. So you have to come back on itself. This is the part that can really get caught, so you really gotta be careful. So we gotta go back to that other 
thread. Now the finger condoms. This will help you so that you don't, um, so you just have more grip, I guess. I'm only gonna use one. Uh, some people like to use two on their fingers. So again, back down to that bottom one, just to make sure that it's extra threaded. You do not want to catch it on its own thread. So lefty, you can see. Great. We're going to come through with the right again on top of that bad boy, making sure that we go through the, you can see that, uh, making sure we don't get caught on any of the threads, top or bottom, because otherwise it will thread in through itself, through that hoop. Good. Now we gotta go back up to the second hole that we already did, but we're gonna just do it again. Again, be very careful. And this is just making sure that everything's gonna stay in place for you. This is where it helps to have a finger condom. So again, on that left side, we're going to go through on the top. There, there, great. That looks good, not caught. Same thing, the right one now. On top of that one, we've gotta pull it down just to really make sure we're getting in that, that there. Oh gosh always scares me because when it gets stuck in itself then you have to like back out so again we're going to pull on the left one landon uses a stitch and pony i'm going to go through here the loop-de-loop -loop. great and that's the hardest part so as you can see that's not the best job that'll do uh you can see there we got one nice good stitch now we're just going to keep going you don't need to go back in and and back on itself. We're just gonna go through on the left, making sure that it's going through the other side proper. So from the left, now the right is gonna go on top again of that thread. Pull that thread back so that we don't get it through itself in that same hole. On top, we're going to pull the right side. This is awkward because I'm like trying to do it up in the air. Here, and then don't forget to go through itself in here and then we're gonna pull it tight so again a stitching pony would help keep everything nice and tight so normally you'd like have it in your your knees and I can show you that now that we're not there um, but look at how cute that looks so cute little little trail so I'm just gonna keep going and uh, you can watch the progress and then I'll show you what happens at the end So quickly, we'll go through again and just show you the back stitch. So going through those um, right in the middle of two stitches, making sure not to go through itself on either side. Looks good. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. We could do two back stitches this time because I'm not, I'm not out of thread, but because I only went through one on the other side, I'm only gonna do one. Go. You gotta make sure you're not catching yourself because that's what well you saw it on the other one. Perfect. Okay, that looks awesome. We will cut that. And I'm gonna burn that off. And I'm gonna pound the sutures and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Oh hello! What do you have to say for the YouTube? Do you have something to say? So I pounded them out. I'm not gonna put the, I'm not gonna finish the cut today. Um, not right now anyways. Um, but as you can see, it does look way better pounded. With a little hammer, you just kind of hit the seam nice and flat. And it just looks really great. Um, so now what I'll do is I will cut, I won't do it again here yet, but I'm gonna do the sides. I'm not going to stitch the top because I think that this looks okay like this. I think it's gonna look cute. With a nice big button in the middle, I might do like a brass button, and I think it's gonna look great. And that is a very, very simple little clutch. Hope you enjoyed. We'll talk to you later. Oh, am I supposed to sign off? I don't know how to do this. Till next time, stay beautiful on the inside. And Landon says, stay bearded. And then we say, oh, I love you. <laughs>
Bye.